In this video, we provide the solution to question number 24 from the practice final exam for Math 1050. We're given a system of, of equations. They're not linear equations, though. Well, at least the second one is, right? The first equation is x plus y equals 5. That is the graph of a line. But the second one, y equals 3 minus x squared, that's the graph of a parabola. We have a quadratic function going on there. Um, so we have to be a little bit more careful when we solve systems involving uh, nonlinear equations. Um, substitution or elimination can still be appropriate here as long as we use them, use them as such. Um, notice that with the second equation, it's already set up as y equals. So it seems like it's screaming at me to do substitution. I just substitute this y into the other y, right? Um, so that gives us that x plus, well, instead of y, we get 3 minus x squared. This is equal to 5. We now have a quadratic equation. Maybe we can solve this quadratic equation. Let's move everyone to the right-hand side here. So we end up with 0 is equal to, well, the x negative x squared when it moves to the right becomes a positive x squared. That's actually why I moved everything to the right. I like my leading coefficient to be positive, uh, so I'm of an optimist there. The x then moves over and becomes a negative x, and then you get a 5 minus 3, which is a positive 2, like so. Um, so then we try to factor this one. Factors of 2 that add to be negative 1, um, your really only option would be negative 1 and negative 2, which gives us a negative 3. So it turns out that we don't have any... Um, rational solutions there. So we'll just go to the quadratic formula. x equals negative b, so you get a negative negative 1, plus 1 there, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4ac, so 4 times 1 times 2 is an 8, all over 2a. Um, simplifying this, you'll notice you get 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 7 over 2, or better yet, 1 plus or minus i root 7 over 2. Um, this, this right here, these are not real numbers right? Because you can see the imaginary part right here. So as we're trying to graph these things, we have this line that's been graphed. We have this parabola that's trying to be graphed. We actually get something that look, would look something like this if we drew this a little bit better. Uh, but the point is, because x turned out to be a non-real value, it's actually suggesting to us that these two graphs, the line and the parabola, actually have no intersection, which is what the system of of equations is trying to find. That's the solution there. So it turns out that we actually have no solution because we're only looking for real solutions here. There's no solution to this nonlinear system for which we can just stop there, say there's no solution. The system's inconsistent because the parabola does not intersect the line.